All right, Shalom, I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. I want to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. And peace and blessings on to the elect. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to name this video, but in the last video I did, um, I believe it's titled, you can uh, look at it, uh, Individual Mindset Slash Being Part of a Body Mindset uh, in this truth, okay? And this is, uh, I, I remember this, I really got the idea to go into this uh, topic based upon the elder in Dallas, uh, Ariala. I remember him doing a lesson, uh, really it was a live show, okay, and he had spoke on this concept of, you know, in this truth you have a mind, you had a, a mindset of uh, us, we have a mindset, Salakia. You know, we have to have that mindset that we are part of a body. At the same time, we have to have a mindset that this, uh, uh, the mindset that it's all about you or you have to have that individual mindset and I have some scriptures here before me um, that I'm gonna go into to uh, to express that you know just through the spirit I don't I don't even re exactly remember you know uh, all the things that the elder up in Dallas was uh went into or the scriptures that got brought out because it was a while back but uh i just thought about the concept you know and uh that's what we're dealing with because what the most high is doing with us here in these last days he's waking up the children of israel and first and foremost the most high is waking up the uh, the uh the leaders the 144,000, which we hope to be of that number, he's waking up the leaders of the nation uh, uh, first, first and foremost. Okay? He's waking up the leaders of the nation, and it starts with so many leaders being woke up, and then their job is to go out and, and to teach this word to what? To wake up, to be instruments or tools to wake up uh, the elect, okay? Now, we not doing the waking up. It's all that, that that's the most high. Like, in, uh, I believe, 1 Corinthians. Matter of fact, I'll get, start with that scripture real quick. I didn't plan on bringing out this scripture, but I might as well go ahead and hit it. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Uh, what's the verse? Well, I'm going to get straight to the point. 1 Corinthians 3 and 6. I have planted, this is Paul speaking, I have planted, planted what? Planted a seed in the mind of hope, the men of the hopeful elect. <clears throat> okay? Because if you go and the scriptures say that the word uh, is, the, is the seed. This word is, is, the, is the seed. And we're supposed to become this word. So in essence, uh, we're supposed to become this word. You know, because this word is supposed to be planted in our mind and grow from there. That's why the scriptures refer to us as, as plants, you know. So it says, this is Paul speaking. He says, I have planted, Apollos watered it, but Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, gave the increase. Okay, so when a man wakes up to this truth, it's not based upon his own might. Okay, it's, it's based upon uh, election or calling. Okay, and a high cut. The scriptures talk about a high calling. It's actually a high calling. It's not just any old calling. Uh, the scriptures, I forget what book that's in, but the scriptures say, uh, press, it talks about pressing towards the mark um, to, uh, to receive your reward uh, of your high calling. Some matter of fact, let me find that scripture real quick. Okay, I found the scripture. This is Philippians chapter 3, verse, um, verse 17. It says, Brethren, 
be be followers together of me okay hold on okay so lock you i was reading the wrong verse philippians 3 and uh 14 i'm gonna just get straight to the point this is paul speaking it says uh, i press towards the mark of uh, of I'm sorry for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh in Masayak Yahweh Shai. Okay, so this is a high calling, and uh, you know, like I was saying, it's not of us that we wake up to this truth. It's of uh, being called. Okay, being uh, selected or called. I just use the word call as the scriptures say. Uh, to come into this belief, all right, and to start your voyage or your your path to uh, learning this word and eventually starting to uh, to teach the word, all right. And uh, it start it starts off with you hearing the word, okay, the word being planted in your mind. And then you growing to the point where you become a teacher. But there's an aspect, there's a, both of these aspects, having that individual mindset and having that being part of a body mindset is going to apply for us in this in this truth, you know? So from there, I would like to go to, because uh, I don't want to do too much talking. I want to let the scriptures express and do the explaining, you know, for the most part. So this is Romans chapter 14, verse 5. It says, one man ex ex esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. And this is the part of the verse right here that I want to focus, that I'm going to focus on. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Okay, so that's really the outside of the calling. Of course, you have to be when you call that calling it means that you're supposed to be fully persuaded in in what you uh in in this belief of this truth okay and you can't uh come into this truth this is the solo aspect of it or the uh the individual mindset of you being us being in this truth is when we all came into this truth and as we continue when we hope to continue on to the end we, it, it's not going to change. You have an individual mindset. You have a being part of a body. We have to have a, we have, we're going to have these, these aspects apply. They just apply, okay? And we have to, and what we want to do is we want to uh, make sure that we fulfill in both aspects properly according to the scriptures. And uh, you can't, believe based upon you can't be fully persuaded based upon another man's belief okay you can't just now that's you can but you you won't be fulfilling um your role individually approaching this truth correctly okay the right way to do it is you have to fully be persuaded in your own mind okay and then and then you start you start to grow. You can't get into the you can't believe based upon another man, you know? Or something gotta get you pumped up to believe. You gotta just believe this. And that's and that's that belief is a gift, you know? So uh, from there I wanna go to Philippians, Philippians two and uh two and twelve. This is Philippians chapter two, verse twelve. It reads, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay, it said it didn't say work out together. Together work out your salvation. In this scriptures, it says work out your own salvation with fear and and trembling okay that if you don't 
uh, do what's required of you that the most high will can and will destroy you you know first by bugging you out to where you can't understand this this uh, the, the true doctrine and then you and if you don't understand this uh, doctrine or if you lose the oil okay or the the, the Holy Spirit uh, you the most high take the Holy Spirit from you then what does the scripture say in uh, Isaiah 33 and 6 that wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of uh, our times meaning when everything gets bad out here when it's chaotic when society totally breaks down our belief in this wisdom knowledge and understanding is going to hold us down okay and if you don't have that wisdom knowledge and understanding no longer okay then you're going to be destroyed physically okay so um you can't we're not going to make it into the kingdom we're not going to receive salvation deliverance from all hell that's going to break loose based upon another man's faith or based upon another man's work okay you the scripture that leads me to the next scripture which is uh which one am I going to get first? I'm going to go ahead and get it. This is uh, 2 Timothy. I'm sorry, 2 Peter. 2 Peter. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. It says, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Okay, and you not we we're not you know I keep saying you but I'm trying to get into the practices of saying we, okay because I'm including myself and in everything that I'm that I'm that I'm talking about, okay. That we uh we're not going to make it, okay receive salvation, off of another man's diligence. You just because you befriending a man that's diligent. Uh, if, you know, if you were to do that, you know, include myself, uh, that's not going to get you sal uh, salvation. He's putting in diligence, not you. So it ain't, it's, it's not a buddy button. The Most High is not operating off a buddy buddy system. Okay, because he was your buddy, then I'm going to look out for you. You know, individually, you have to give diligence. Individually, before the diligence come into play, you have to fully be persuaded in your mind. Or we have to be, you know, Salaki, we have to be fully persuaded in our mind. And obviously, if you're uh, teaching this word, then uh, hopefully, you know, the sincere and humble man, we're fully persuaded, you know. And if you're not fully persuaded, then you're in the wrong business, you know. You're in the wrong business. So... These scriptures express the aspect of having that individual mindset or, or it being about all about you in this truth. Okay? Now I'm going to go from there to uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto the most or unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Because the studying is your is is your uh diligence. Okay? The studying really is the is a big part of your uh your diligence. Through studying, uh it should it uh your studying should translate, our studying should translate over to action and being an example onto the to the flock, okay? And you know, uh, uh, you have to put in the study, okay? We have to put in the study. You can't, uh, uh, or we can't depend on another man to do all the to do all the studying. And then what the hell are we going to do? What the hell are you going to do? You know? 
what are, what are you going to do another man study and putting in work being diligent and you're not so you can be a, a sorry individual or have that mindset that it's all about you in the wrong way or in the right way now we want to be up there we hope to be up there elect so we want to fulfill uh, having that right mindset of that that it's all about you correctly and this leads me into the the, uh, the next part of this lesson because uh, that that uh, how you walk on an individual basis that translates over into the body okay or to the, the team you know the scriptures talk about as many members but one body okay many offices but we all got one come and go. We all got different jobs that we have to do, but we got one come and go uh, that, we're, that, we're, uh, that we want to accomplish. And that is to push out this word, this word effectively, okay? Push this word out effectively, decently, and in, 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 on, in, in order, okay? Now, if an if a, if a organ, in the one organ, in the body is weak then that's going to put more strain on the rest of the body okay if you have a uh, you got a team right any type of team sports I just deal with sports a team sport okay and you got one guy on the team that hadn't studied the playbook okay that's not fulfilling his individual role that's going to affect the whole team okay that's why you know both of these concepts go hand in hand of us being in this truth all right if you walking like shit you know you know and it's going to show your walk is going to show your individual walk is going to show if you're not fulfilling being diligent it's going to show in your walk now, how is that going to help the body? It's not going to help the body. You see? So let me, uh, I got uh, more scriptures to go into. You know, this truth is about being part of a body. You know, but it first starts with us individually so that that energy, that example can translate over into, uh, into the body. So this, I'm going to start with uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 5 right I'm sorry 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 15 had it had it backwards all right so this is 2 Corinthians 5 and 15 and that he died for all, that he is talking about Yahushai, of course, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Okay, so we're to live on, we're not living uh, for ourselves, we're living for Yahushai. Okay, in the sense that I want to, I want to make sure I'm careful with you know my wording. In the sense that uh, we're not living, we're not living our life as the old man. Okay, now we live in our life uh, according to these to these scriptures. Okay, and if you live in your life according in the through the Spirit according to these scriptures then you living your life on to your shy not just out here in the world uh, uh, doing what you want to do all right and what did your shy tell Peter okay let me get that scripture this is John st. John chapter 21 verse I'm gonna start at the uh, start at the 15th verse this is the essence of our existence uh, in this truth. This is the essence of what Yahweh Shai wanted us uh, us to do. Okay? 
and uh, it's the scriptures right here is going to express it. This is St. John 15, I'm sorry, 21 and 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh I said unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? I'm talking about the, uh, the fish or his occupation, okay, which was a fisherman. It says, he said unto him, to him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said, he said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter, Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, feed my sheep. So Yahweh Shai was make, wanted to make it very clear that the most important thing that you can be doing, your existence, you know, here on this planet earth, and this goes for all of us, is to feed the sheep, to teach this word, okay? And uh, when you're teaching the word, you're teaching to somebody else. So that aspect of um, being part of a body, you know, um, yeah, individually you, you teach, okay? And individually you, uh, you teach, but now you teaching to what? Not only to edify yourself, but to edify another man. So now it's not just you because you're not teaching just for yourself. Or we're not teaching just for ourselves. We're teaching to edify another man, okay? Or, or, or a woman, okay? But I'm focusing on the men, you know? The, the 144,000. The purpose of you putting up your lessons, going out on the highways and byways, uh, and also being a walking, living example of what you're teaching is to edify yourself and other men. Okay? So now it's not all about you now. Because in this verse, Yahweh Shai said, feed the sheep. See? Not feed just yourself. That's a, that's a, uh, uh, that's a part of it. You see? And you go hand in hand, you have to eat this word and then you go out and you teach it. All right, so let me go ahead and get another scripture. This is uh, 2 Timothy. I'll try to uh, condense this lesson as much as possible, but with a topic like this, it's not going to be a, a, a 10, 15 minute video. All right, so this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2, scripture that we all know. It says, and the things that thou hast heard of me amongst many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others. Okay, so we getting in with these scriptures that I have brought out now is going into us uh, being part of a body. Okay, and uh, we are teaching each other, right? We are teaching each other and we hoping you know, that this understanding that we're teaching falls on the ears of, of the elect, okay? Um, let's see. God, I'm not, I got a lot of scriptures wrote down I'm trying to choose. I'm not going to bring them all out, but I will quote this. This is uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15. It says, uh, the Most High said, I will give, uh, give he's going to give us pastors according to his heart that will feed us with uh, knowledge and understanding all right so now it's not all about you it's about you feeding the uh, the flock okay so i'm let me go from there i'm gonna go to uh philippians chapter two well, i've been in philippians a lot didn't even realize it all right philippians two verse three through five it says let nothing be done through strife and vainglory, but in lowliness of mind to to each esteem other better than themselves. 
Okay? Cause how are you how are we supposed to look at our at the brothers as if the bro, this brother is Yahweh Shai? Okay? <clears throat> and uh we know that Yahweh Shai is greater than all of us, you know? So you that's just a a sentiment of being humble, humble, you know? Not thinking that you better than your brother or that being selfish that it's all about you but uh being in this truth but looking at your brother in a uh a high light you know having great respect and honor for your brother you know so reading on it says let not every man let not every man on his own things but every man also on the things of others okay so not only it's not only for us to be concerned about I will walk in this truth and what you going through and all the hell that you catching because don't the scriptures teach us about once we come into this knowledge we gonna catch hell that's part of the learning that's part of what we teach that you know in this truth you're gonna go through things you're gonna catch holy hell okay and not just to be caught up on your life and what you going through and your walk in this truth okay but also to be concerned about your brothers, about the the uh, the state of of the flock, you know, the condition of the brothers, where they where they stand at, what they going through, you know, to be concerned and to send up prayers for the for the brothers, you know. And the best thing that we can do is to be a living example of what we're teaching, you know. Which brings me, uh, I got one, I got a couple of more scriptures and I'm going to close this lesson out. You know, I have more scriptures, but I'm not going to bring them all out for the sake of time. But this is Romans chapter <clears throat> 15 and start at verse 1. It says, we then that are strong are not to, I'm sorry, we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Okay. So this is another, uh, this is just to go with Philippians 2, 3 through 5. It's not all about you and uh, how much knowledge you knowledge you got or we got, okay? It's about helping out a brother that may be weaker than you, okay? That may not be as studious as you uh, in the, when it comes to studying, okay? Or whatever the case may be, all right? It says, verse 2, it says, let everyone, I'm sorry, let every one of us please his neighbor for, <laughs> I love this, for his good to edification. For your brother or our brother, uh, for his good onto edification. Okay? It's all about us edifying ourselves. Of course, um, the Most High have given us the, the Spirit. Okay, the Rakaqa Dash and the tools necessary, which that's the first tool is the uh, the Holy Spirit to uh, to edify ourselves. He gave us teachers. He gave us the Holy Spirit. He gave us teachers. He gave us the scriptures to have a record of these scriptures so that the te us teachers can teach. Okay, he gave us the Internet. Okay, he gave us the Bible dictionary, strong concordance, hey, the, uh, the, the blue letter, you know, all these tools that we use to uh, edify ourselves and not only ourselves, but also uh, edify your brother, you know. So it starts with you getting this knowledge and teaching it, but you also have to uh, be a walking example of what you're teaching, or what we're teaching. All right. And uh, last scripture, I'm going to end it on this right here. This is, uh, I think it's 1 Timothy. Yes, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. It says, let no man des despise thy youth. This is Paul epistle to Timothy. As he says, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word, so it's very important what we're, uh, we got to be an example in words. So 
what are you talking about with another brother? You know, what type of uh, conversation in the sense of, you know, your talk, that aspect of your conversation, uh, what are you talking about? Are you talking about nigga shit all the time? Are you talking about the world all the time? Uh, or are you talking about, uh, are you speaking through the spirit? I'll just, I'll just, you know, make an umbrella statement like that, you know, are you speaking through the spirit? Uh, of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, okay? Or are you just sounding like you know uh, the the same nigga that you we were uh, we was you know used to be. And if if you do sound that way, or you know, if it, if this do apply to you, then uh, you had you ain't you ain't killed the old man yet, you know. So let me go back to that scripture. It says, uh, "So be." It says, "Be, but be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation." And I believe if you look at word conversation, it's talking about your walk, your conduct, how you carry yourself. So it ain't, it ain't gonna do no good if you talking the talk but you're not walking the walk. And you really can, you know, if that's happening, if that, you know, if you're not fulfilling this part of uh, your duty or our duty in this truth to where that it's not all about you, but it's all, it's about your brother, too, you know. And going out there, you condemning the two thirds, you know, condemning the world, but you're not living up to. With, all right. That's gonna get it. That'll 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 get that'll get you destroyed. You know, and would it look like you a brother that's going into breakdowns, teaching this word, you study, but then when you <clears throat> when you look at um, how you carry yourself, how you walk in this truth, you go to a brother apartment. Your apartment is all nasty. Everything is sloppy. All over dishes in the sink. Okay, when it comes to work, you running late all the time. You do everything up at the last minute. You know, you not you. Uh, really, a guy like that is not gonna be studious, and he's not gonna be. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's not. You're not gonna be uh, diligent. You know, that type of guy is just not diligent, man. I remember the Apostle Gabar telling me and other men uh, years ago that you got a, uh, something to the effect. I don't have the best of, of, of memory, but he said something to the effect. A guy that house looks like shit for a lack of better, for roughly paraphrasing what the Apostle said. A guy that house is all sloppy and nasty. That's a reflection of his spirit. And if your spirit is all, you know, we're supposed to have pure spirits. Right? Pureness of, of mind. If your mind, if your spirit is all clogged up, how are you gonna be diligent in this truth, you know? It's just not it's not gonna it's not gonna happen. Okay? So how can you be an example? You know, you go out there and teach on Saturdays, you get your three videos up, but then when a the brother look at look at uh your walk, okay, and I'm I'm saying you and your but I'm speaking to myself too, okay? Uh it doesn't reflect a man that's going out there in truth and sincerity, teaching the word and getting his lessons, putting up his lessons to edify uh, the body, you know? So let me finish this out. It says, be an example in word. Be an example. Uh, let me read it all over. It says, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers in word and conversation and charity you got to have that giving spirit man you know we got to have that giving spirit not be selfish man you know have that giving that's the best way you can put it the spirit to if, if you got it you know get share with your brother you know it says uh in spirit be an example in spirit see in faith and in purity and that caps that's a hey that's a hell of a scripture that capsulate what type of example 
we are to be one to another. All right. So uh, that's that's the lesson, and uh, hopefully, you know, you were able, you know the listeners was able to get uh, some edification out of this, okay, out of this lesson, and uh, Lord willingness was edifying to the to your spirits, okay. And with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory once again to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakhakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. The men that taught us this truth through the Spirit and peace and blessings on to the elect. Shalom.